my viewers and my subscribers, you don't, don't know, say, me always an update on you know, with the latest we are show about. Now, when you see that boy up on the screen, I don't take him off look and want to notice him. That when you hear what you do, you don't go see people we see if they ever see that boy yet. You see that boy you now? That boy one of them boy that we, we take things from woman which part woman no give to them. Yes. So you, you just go about your business and this one of them boy that will jar you in a bush and jar in a bush and take off your clothes and check me out. Put on top of it, my people. But before we go further into the details, my people, I ask you please remember for us, like the video. Yeah, man. Press up like on the video because that boy, that boy, I want to hear peace day. Yeah, you don't know. You know what we are talking about, my people. Yeah, man. That boy, old people, girl, pick me, carry them in the bush and take one or give to them. So, I want enough people to see this, my people. All right. So my people now, you see that boy you now? That boy here. Yeah. I want a serial ticker there where, 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 where. I look pick me and go to school that early morning and then thing there. Them boy are out there because them boy they on the road because they want your little daughter to jaw your daughter and, and go do whatever they want to do because I saw them boy you live. And if you come to the test, then we'll take all your daughter life too. So you see that boy you now, my people, we want to look for him good. And you see, if you don't have any data, we, we, we go through the same thing, yeah. We want to make our data look for the boy, a picture. And any of other same boy, you know, go the same way again and build up another one, one for him. Because the boy get a couple of years well, no, my people. But me still no feel pleased, still no. Because the boy should have get about 200 years, no, my people. Yes, man, the boy should have get about 200 years, my people. 200 years or more, my people. Because, the boy I get all one twenty five years part, he get all pari pari eligible for pari We can't even pronounce word good my people in a eighteen year. Then me think of free to sabo I my people. He get one that one that one charge again my people is part a a twenty three year he get. See my people, and he still a game parade in a eighteen year again. He get one that one which part and slap him with nine. My people, that boy I get good amount of year now, my people. And check it out, I get over 50 a year now, my people. But me still not feel pleased. Man like this, I went for, yes, I want 200 year. I'm make, I making little followers them out there here and get chimbling. Yes. So my people, here we go on right, yes, sir. I am Mitzi Johnson. Now the news and details. Convicted serial rapist Davian Bryan has been sentenced to 25 years in prison for sexual crimes relative to the rape and abduction of a female college student in Portland in March last year. It has also been stipulated that he should serve 18 years behind bars before being eligible for parole consideration. In May of this year, Bryan was sentenced to 23 years in prison for abducting and raping three girls in Bath, St. Thomas, which all occurred in October 2021. Then it was stipulated that he should serve 16 years before being eligible for parole consideration. On Tuesday of this week, he was sentenced on his latest conviction in the Portland Circuit Court. The complainant in that case was a second-year student at a tertiary institution in Portland, where she boarded. According to a release from the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, ODPP, on Wednesday, Brian pleaded guilty to the offenses of forcible abduction, grievous sexual assault and rape all relative to the assault of the female student on June 22, 2023. So my people, that's how the paper I say, that I come straight out of the paper. Because I tell you no, that update you no know, on the latest, the really fax them. I mean, I come back and make up not my people and talk. But my people, you know, part of me no feel pleased with them. You see three girl them, that boy should I get 35 year each, if you want, you know. Yeah, man. So you see, when I check it out, for three of them, he, 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 he might get at least a hundred and five years, my people. Yeah. A hundred and five years for three of them. For them three girls, my people. That's why I say Jamaica code system, I don't understand no man. Because I tell you, say no, my people. If I hope I saw other country like all, so other foreign country, you don't manage part of them and they, 
up at them place and decide, say, yeah, you see fire them thing, and you saw turbine, you do so much. We are going to show you, say, no, do so much, no, car. Look for R. Kelly. You saw the, I you saw the deal with R. Kelly. R. Kelly. I saw them boy want to get treated, man. So, 35 years each, me people, you should I get. For, for, for them three girls, them people, hold on. More sitting there in our paper, me are going to make you know, hear. Oh, that work. I mean, people want to know, jump on the honest comments, you know, about that boy, yeah, you know, me people, because, Want to talk, you know, man. If we ain't get satisfied, we we'll know more, you know, my people. Cause what thing boy I go on with, you know? He was sentenced to nine years and three months imprisonment for forcible abduction of the college student and 16 years and nine months for grievous sexual assault. On the rape count, High Court Judge Justice Vaughn Smith ordered Brian to serve 25 years in prison with a stipulation that he serve 18 years before being eligible for parole consideration. So many people, I'm going to take on through the paper, you know. I'm going to take on through the paper with the real details of how that boy is. For sure, you said that boy is terrible. Or the boy is sit down and crew are fought in thing and deal with people pick me. Which part I go to school and, and interrupt and I take things which part I don't give to them. Boy, I, yeah? I take off people's clothes. My people, the boy, I don't tell the girl about how I'm a wicked man. Yeah, my people, yeah, yeah, my people, yeah, well, I have it just so, so you are. In the paper, me go. Mix it, tell him everything we're going on the paper, me people. Of note, the judge made no other order pertaining to sentencing and these sentences in the Portland Circuit Court have been handed down after the commencement of the serving of his sentences on the matters in the St. Thomas Circuit Court, the ODPP stated. The allegations relative to the Portland incident, as outlined by the ODPP, are that about 5.30 a.m. on Thursday, March 10, 2022, the complainant got dressed for class and left her dorm. She walked by a building on campus and continued along a roadway. While it was still dark, the complainant was able to see, as she was aided by two streetlights on the road. She also observed a female who was known to her walking some distance before her. While walking up a hill, the complainant saw a shadow behind her, but did not know who it was, and thought it was one of her friends, which caused her to turn around and say, You frighten me, Eno. However, she got no response. Immediately, someone grabbed and squeezed her neck, and she realized that it was a male, later identified as Brian, who she had not seen before. Brian was wearing a hat with a scarf wrapped around his face and carrying a drawstring bag on his back, the ODPP informed. Further reports are that Brian dragged the complainant through bushes and instructed her to remove her water boots, forcing her to walk through the bushes with only her socks on her feet. The complainant, said the ODPP, made several attempts to escape and raise an alarm, but she was unsuccessful, as Brian held her hands. As daylight began to emerge, Brian finally led the complainant to an area near the sea, and reportedly dragged her under a pear tree and told her to remove her clothes. The ODPP said the student tried to speak with Brian, because she feared that he would kill her. It was during the conversation that he revealed to her that his name was Dwayne, the man from St. Thomas who would kill people and was from Norwich. As she was being sexually assaulted, Brian threatened to stab the student if she refused further overtures, the statement said. When the sexual ordeal was over, Brian instructed the student to walk behind him, but she managed to flee from him and run to a security guard, who carried her on his back. The complainant, who was observed to have scrapes and wheels on her face and lower back, reported her ordeal to classmates who had been searching for her. She then fainted. On March 23, 2022, Brian was apprehended by the police in Durham Gap District in Portland. When he was cautioned, he told the police, Officer Ami. Seven days later, Brian was positively identified by the complainant during an identification parade, and formally charged by the police. I am Mitzi Johnson, for News Replay JM.